What is going on, guys? It's, uh... Oh, I literally don't know what to, what to call myself. Because I, I don't want, like, I could say my real name, and then that'll be, like, you know... That'll be fine to my mates, but I don't know if I want everyone else knowing my real name. Anyway, today uh, I'm about to get screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I know not how you supply anyway, today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that isn't really recognized for the most part, but it definitely should be. I actually didn't really think about this until I got this assigned to my class, and I didn't have to make a YouTube video about it, but I thought, hey, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, and uh, I thought this could be something that I could actually put out there. Now, of course... You're gonna have your people that call me a nerd. You're gonna have those people that are not gonna care and they're gonna give you a hard time. But I just wanna say, if you don't want, if you don't care about your education, well then just go ahead and leave. Plain and simple. I ain't gonna even force you guys to stay. But if you guys are actually interested, then go ahead and say, this benefits you guys. I mean, especially for you guys in high school, high school seniors more than anything. But go ahead and stay. This is a very, this is very educational for you. But what was I gonna talk about? So essentially, there's something that's been going on in the high school system or the academic system that's been going on for a while now that I don't necessarily agree with. Now, some of you guys might agree with it. Others of you might not. But it's just something the way I feel. And maybe you guys can be on par with where I'm at. I don't think at on par was a correct way of saying it. Anyway, so... What the hell was my subject about? I don't even remember. Let me remember real quick. Okay, yeah. So pretty much how like professors grade other people's work, like their students, they kind of expect everyone to be graded the same way and that everyone reads and writes the same way when that's not true whatsoever. Where's the box at? Okay. And you know, a lot of the times, you know, in high school, it'll be like, you know, your teacher gives you an assignment. You have to go ahead and follow it through and you're expected to write one way and if you don't write that way then pretty much you don't get the grade that you deserve in high school now do i feel like this is correct not at all by any means i feel like if you want to limit your students on what they can cannot then you know you're letting them their full potential and that really just affects a good writing piece as a whole you know, no one wants to be limited to what they can write. It's like if you're telling a story. No one, You don't want someone to cut you off short. It's the same thing. It's like, why do you want someone to cut you off short on your explanation when you have so much to say? So, whenever you do do something like this in high school where you focus on just a certain topic or a certain something, then it, it, it could really limit your ideas and what you could do. And whenever you make the transition to college level writing, which you can honestly, because like I'm in college, as you guys know, um, whenever you do college level writing, the transition's really, really weird. <laughs> I know that was a transition for me. It was very strange. It was like, okay, I don't care how you, how long you write, I don't care how much you write, and I don't care what you write about, as long as you make a point. And in my head, I'm like, we have freedom here. I thought it was a lie. No, I'm joking. I knew there was more freedom in college. But anyway, uh, it makes the transition really weird. And then, of course, it's really, how you say it, misleading for a high school teacher. They tell you, oh, you have to do this in college. And you're not allowed to do this in college. When in reality, you can honestly just be doing your own thing. As long as you follow your teacher's instructions, they won't be as strict as your high school professors. But pretty much, you can write almost as as much as you'd like and you know there's several people that i'd like to refer to like downs and wardle which you probably don't even care about or haas and flower which is another pair that you don't care about but i'm gonna go ahead and say that pretty much what they say is that there is a flaw in the academic system that you know we sh they shouldn't be students shouldn't be limited to the writings that they should be allowed to write and i think i just butchered my last sentence but you shouldn't limit anyone to what or how they can write. And aside from that, you know, two people can read a certain piece of writing and write about it, but they won't feel the same way, much less will they write the same way. So you shouldn't limit people to how they write, and you should definitely let them use their opinions in their writing. 
it makes it much better whenever you can use personal experiences inside your writing. And, you know, it just makes the paper way more passionate. Get wrecked, nerd. Anyway... Hopefully you guys do get something out of this and like you would think how would you even go about fixing this? Well for one teachers in high school can be way more truthful about how to write. Now do I blame the high school teachers entirely? Not at all. It's just the curriculum they have to follow that makes it so difficult you know. They have to follow certain guidelines and stuff and they're paid by the state and if they don't do their job correctly well then they don't get paid it's plain and simple and i don't blame them for it but it would definitely be very much more useful if you know the school system could recognize this sort of thing and not limit students to what they can and cannot write because ultimately if you limit somebody then you obviously can't let them do what it is that they do best to their fullest potential and i decided to make a youtube video out of this mainly because i do want to get this message out there to you guys that you know I want you guys to wake up and know that it's not like the way you guys are writing with personal experiences and all that stuff. It's not the wrong way. You guys are sharing your personal experiences and sharing and making your paper. Oh my God. Okay. So, yeah, you shouldn't be limited to the kind of writing that you should and shouldn't do. But, you know, make sure you get your point across well. Don't just be like, oh, Sess told me I can write. Oh, damn it, I used my name. Anyway, don't say like, oh, Sess let me use whatever thing I can do this and it's okay. It, I'm not saying pretty much loophole the system. I'm just saying truthfully. Teachers should let you write the way you want to. And you should be able to express yourself better and understandingly so that way... You know, your paper makes sense. And you get a good, effective college and high school level paper. And you prep up for college better. And that way you get a job in the future. And you get your degree. And you can't get a job without a degree nowadays. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Uh, for my other subscribers, does this mean my YouTube is active? I'll try to be. No promises. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully you, do got, you guys did enjoy this video. And you guys might be saying, why did you put this behind some gameplay? Well, essentially because gaming on YouTube has gotten really, really big over the years. And I thought if I were to, you know, share this through some gameplay, maybe... So hopefully you guys did get something out of it. And, uh, yeah, if you're going to dislike the video, um... Don't, don't dislike the video, man. I'm just, I'm just being dead, dead honest. I'm not, I try not to be a bad content creator. But, you know, shit happens. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna die! There's literally nothing here! But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you guys agree with me. And this is a totally open subject. If you guys have something that you agree with, something you don't agree with, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'd really like to th know what you guys think about this. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just for those people that actually care about... And I'm not saying if you don't care about this video, you don't care about your education. But if you honestly do, and you really think that something like this makes sense, that you shouldn't be limited to your writing just because you can't share your opinions and you're set up by a rubric and you have to follow that in order to get the grade that you think you can do better without following the guidelines and by all means guys just go ahead and add your opinions in the comment section I will, I will be more than happy to see what you guys have to think but that's enough for me hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like rating if you did stay tuned subscribe for more uh not some more of this content but if you'd like to see this content i'd be very surprised but yeah if you guys want to see more on my youtube then go ahead and subscribe it's free and uh i'll catch you guys later